Well, now at 11, we're hearing from a survivor of the Beachy Creek fire, and now part one of two lawsuits filed against Pacific Power. That suit claims the company's negligence led to the catastrophe. Jenny Young, live on the story tonight. Jenny, we know they're trying to rebuild his life now. The fire destroyed almost everything he owned. That's right, Jeff. He and his wife had to live in a motel for two months after that fire. Today, they are living in an RV that's parked on their property, and they believe that all the pain, all the suffering that so many people went through was preventable. My wife come in and woke me up and said, I think we need to leave. It's been six months since Rick Thomas and his wife Oot narrowly escaped the Beachy Creek fire, but Rick still has trouble sleeping through the night. So I looked out the door of the master bedroom that goes on to the deck and there were ambers coming down as big as baseballs driving out the road and trees on fire and everything and you're just wondering if you're going to make it. The Thomases had no time to get their animals. They lost five chickens and the six cats they were fostering. One was a, a mother that had three babies. The couple lived in this house in Lyons for nearly 25 years. It was just our dream house. Finances are the biggest problem, so it's just we'll find a loan somewhere and rebuild. I took the insurance money and paid off the mortgage so we could start fresh. Rick says it upsets him when he thinks back to that night when they were given no warning and no evacuation notice. He explained why he joined a lawsuit against Pacific Power that accuses the company of not heeding the National Weather Service predictions for historic winds during extremely dry conditions. The lawsuit alleges those winds knocked down power lines owned and operated by Pacific Power. It claims the lines ignited trees and brush, creating a mega fire that destroyed nearly 500 homes. I think they should be counted, uh, held accountable, yes. Uh, if they would have turned the power off when it first started way up seven or eight miles above where I live, it probably wouldn't have come this far. He and his wife will celebrate 55 years of marriage tomorrow. Congratulations to them. He did tell me that they lost their marriage license in that fire along with other documents and heirlooms. I did reach out to Pacific Power to see if they're willing to do an interview. I'll let you hear. I'll let you know when I hear back from them. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin Six News. Jenny, thank you. Governor